Cattle viewers, here is a Western Digital 10,000 RPM hard drive. This is a Velociraptor, 150 gigabytes capacity from the 5th of May 2010. And there's the model number. This is a pretty unusual drive. There's not many of these around. This is a three and a half inch desktop form factor drive. I know there's going to be probably multiple individuals that come into the comments box and say, Oh, I know about computers. That's a two and a half inch laptop drive. No, it's not. It's a desktop drive. It's about twice the thickness of a typical two and a half inch laptop drive. And it comes like this natively. This is not a, well, I mean, it obviously functions as a, a bracket to make it bigger, but this is a heat sink. There's a specific name for it that Western Digital calls it. I think it's like ice something or other. I'll have to look it up and, and post it in the description box so nobody reads. Anyways, it's a SATA interface. And, of course, the claim about this drive is that it's supposed to be faster than the 5400 and the 7200 drives. I've never used one of these before. They're very expensive. They were astronomically expensive back in 2010. And so it was very hard to rationalize the purchase of these drives for a lot of people because it wasn't like going from a, a rotational drive to an SSD where it's so much faster. You'll notice it right away. But it's faster, but not necessarily worth the outrageous increase in price. And so for that reason, these just never really caught on and not many of them sold. They are still made today and of course they have very small niche use cases. Of course with the SSDs the use cases for these are diminishing even more especially because the price of SSDs has come down drastically and they're a fraction of what you'd pay for one of these you know per gigabyte of size. So, there's very few use cases for these nowadays. Very few people that would choose one of these over flash memory at this point. I happen to kind of like these drives still. I don't like to store data on flash memory. In my server, I use 7200 RPM drives. And that's good enough in most cases because when you're reading files, like a video for instance, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference in the speed of the drive based on the RPMs because it's really when you're seeking for files that the speed increase is valuable. And so, let's say when you're running an operating system, for instance, you're going to be seeking for files all over the drive all the time. And that's where the increase in rotational speed comes into play. I have the 7200 drives in my server and a gigabit network will still get completely maxed out from the 7200 RPM drive reading and writing because I'm writing files and it's not doing a lot of seeking it's just reading and writing in one area so anyways these drives just don't see them very much there's a lot of people that work in computers that never even knew this thing existed I believe it has three platters in it I think it's pretty loud I hope it's loud I like loud drives. A lot of people don't anymore, but I like them because it brings back memories of the first computers I used, which of course were pretty loud. There was always the magic to the earlier hard drives, because the capacity was so small, you know, gigabyte, even 30 gigabytes, and you could always hear the head moving around reading the data. It was just really cool, because it was something that was relatively new at the time, and it was like, wow, you can fit a gigabyte of stuff into, you know, your hand. And that was revolutionary at the time. Of course, now that's comical to think you can only fit a gigabyte into something like this. But, anyways, the hard drive, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated pieces of technology. Because the way it works is absolutely incredible. And if you really understand how it works and how fragile it is and how quickly it does what it does it's really amazing 
and it's it's incredible that it can fit as much data as it can on it and it operates totally reliably for a long period of time it's it's just an absolutely incredible piece of hardware and so I really like my loud hard drives so anyways I've tested this briefly it powers on it wrote a couple of files but what I want to do is put it into a computer and I'm going to put an operating system under and use it because I've never used one of these before and I want to see if it really makes a big difference so what I'll do is I'm going to put it into a computer I want to record the spin up sound and the sound of it writing and reading and then that'll be right after this segment here and then in another video in the future I'm going to talk about the user experience of this drive was it really that much faster than the 7200 drive how does it compare to an SSD and was it worth the additional cost